This video is going to cover the topic of dividing fractions. Be sure to put the date at the top and the topic. We'll call this one dividing fractions part two. This is our second video covering dividing fractions. The essential question in this video will be, how do we divide a fraction by a whole number? In our last video, we talked about dividing a whole number by a fraction. That is, we talked about the dividend as a whole number and using a fraction as the divisor. This time we're going to reverse that. Our fraction will be the dividend and the whole number will be the divisor. What if we want to divide one half by four? That would mean we are trying to buy the, find the value if we cut one half into four groups. Our number sentence would be 1 half divided by 4 equals whatever our quotient will become. Let me take a look at a model for this. I've started with a representation, a box, right, that I'm going to cut in half to show my original dividend. I'm only talking about half here. My divisor is 4, so I want to cut my half into 4 equal parts. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this into four equal parts. And when I do that, I see that if I cut one half into four, each section is this large, right? And each section is one out of eight of the original whole. So my answer would be one eighth. One half divided by four equals one eighth. Let's try another one. Here we see that three friends want to share two-thirds of a pound of popcorn, and they want to share it equally. The question is, how much popcorn will each friend get? I know this is a division problem because I'm looking to share something equally. The students are sharing the popcorn, so the popcorn, the amount of popcorn will be our dividend. We will be dividing it into three equal parts, right? So we want to mark that that will be our divisor. Our number sentence will be that we are taking two thirds and dividing it by three. And that's what we'll need to do to find our quotient. I'm going to start again with my model, right? This would represent a whole pound of popcorn. They only have two thirds of a pound, so I'm going to fill in two-thirds to show how much popcorn we're working with. But then we want to divide that by three, so we want to cut that into three parts. And each person will get one of the three parts. If this represents the amount each person would get, we'll see that they get two out of nine equal sections, so they will be eating two-ninths of a pound. So my complete number sentence would be that two-thirds divided by three equals two-ninths. At this point, you might be noticing something. You might be looking at this model and seeing that it looks a lot like the brownie model we use for multiplication. In fact, if you are sharing the popcorn into three equal parts, each student is getting one-third of the popcorn. So we could also think of this problem as each student getting one-third of two-thirds of the popcorn, two-thirds of a pound, right? which we know would be two-ninths. Keep that connection in mind as we continue working with dividing fractions. The essential question of just this video, however, was how do we divide a fraction by a whole number? We saw a few examples of this. We'll continue to work on this in class, and we'll continue to look for those connections and see if we can come up with some strategies that we can use to divide.